do this. Oh no. <laughs> Why'd you die? <laughs> my, really my, I just noticed that in these pictures, my poor elf looks really orange. <laughs> <laughs> Part of oh. it is because of the. I have to use the lights because. Yeah. We're, every time we go to a it's dungeon. It's always it's night. Nighttime. Every time. Yep. Every yep. fucking time. <laughs> For nighttime adventures. We're on that. I am a yeah. keeper. I'm a bun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elf. So technically, Mur is going to be a keeper seeker mix. All right, let's do this. This is probably the most boring one out of all of them. But we gotta do it. Yep. We can actually skip a bunch of <laughs> monsters here. You can, because they will lose aggro on you. Yep. But do we want to? I think no. we're going for the XP. Oh. oh, food! Food, yeah. I was literally just about to say. I need to pick up some more when we get to town next. Same. Um, I might be able to trade some with you. Not while we're in a dungeon. Yeah. Well, not right oh. now, but... Okay, hey, I, have, nice. um, I have a couple that you can have when we're out of here. One it's of us has to... Mole loaf. One of us has to become a cook and craft this food later on. I totally could. I fucking leveled uh, culinarian and I go. I can do it again. If it's relatively. Do easy we one. want to bother yeah. with with cook with like freaking crafting all uh, these characters? I mean, well, I can I can definitely do it on the side, like outside of stream. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I don't think it's so necessary. As long as I'm not getting outside help. Uh, the yeah. only reason why I said cook is because instead of buying the food, we... yeah, it would, make it would be cheaper food. to just make it. I mean, yeah, if like oh. if we did <laughs> cooking and Take fishing. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, if someone picked up fishing and someone picked up cooking, because then we could just uh. make like. I mean, technically, I have all the classes unlocked on, on Mazuzu. I'm a horrible person. Because <laughs> uh, I, I needed them for the hot bars. Duke, I have plot idea. Oh, no. No, it, it actually... He trained under Zook and then eventually went off with their daughter to, to look after her while she went adventuring. <laughs> Come on, spell child. It would actually kind of be cool too because Zook is half blind, so like he can kind of relate to not being able to like use vision entirely. Yeah, because Zook has zero depth perception. The timeline. How old is she? Uh, so technically where... she. <laughs> Technically, she hasn't been born yet. Yeah. But this uh, could totally be like a like a an AU of sorts. Um. But basically, she's gonna be kind of doing a time skip. Be depending on what the sto we're we're really waiting for the next uh, bit of what happens in the expansion to figure out what's going on with Mizuzu. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> because basically what we're planning is she gets bored and then something happens and basically there are repercussions that cause uh, Zook and Map to go into a time skip. And then she's going to come back like 10 years later. But there are also a couple other theories, that, uh, a couple other ideas that we were kind of leaning towards as well, where it was like an alchemical thing. Because um, she's... They, basically, Zuka and Mav were trying to have a child the old-fashioned way, 
and it just wasn't working because of, well, one, uh, Mav's a half-breed as it is, and that makes it even harder for a half-breed to have a child. Um, so we're, we're probably going to be doing um, artificial, like, intimidation or, like, um, like uh, an artificial womb, I should say is what they're going to be working on so there could be like a chemical uh an alchemical side effect that basically makes her rapidly age um so we're kind of leaning towards a couple things but we want to wait till we figure out what's going on with the actual expa uh, expansion yeah. before we actually do something yes but like this this party could totally be like from the future <laughs> Well, I was gonna say it like completely different AU. It could, but I don't like AUs. Well, I was gonna I'm say because like if AUs. we're doing if we're doing a warrior of light kind of thing, or un unless this is like this is ex itself uh, like out of character, and then like we could do something else. That's kind of what I was more thinking. Um, like if we figure out a reason outside of the stream. Because the stream itself is, I was thinking, was out of character. Gotcha. Um, but the characters obviously can absolutely be used in character for, for plots and shenanigans. Can you uh, bring them behind the the coplin? Thank you. All right. It's all good. I'm gonna blow shit up. I'm gonna press the button. Okay. Did we grab the other one? Yeah. Yep. I'll boom it. Boom. Whew. Boss fight. Not much of a boss fight. Well, that was easy. I thought <laughs> this room had a boss fight in it. It does. It does. It, it's just not, not very tough. Copper Hell is very boring. <laughs> I remember when it was really challenging. Like, the last boss, if you didn't do the mechanics, you died. Oh, yeah. Now you can just fucking burn it. Yep. I just like how he's spiking things. Flambo, thank you. <laughs> I thought this was the dungeon where you had to get the flambo to blow up in a certain place. Yep. Yep. Certainly is. Yes, yeah, it's the second boss. Where you have to get the bomb to blow up on the slime. Oh, I don't have play dead for that part. Oh, that's too bad. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna play dead on the fucking the thing. Okay, it should be boss time after this flambo, I believe. 
Yep. There he come. Yep. We all start shooting him before he even lands. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck up you. Ah, oh, I want sushi. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh. You did that to yourself. <laughs> I know. I don't even know what made me think of it. You talked in an Asian accent. Oh god, I'm racist. <laughs> That's exactly what fucking- Oh my god, I feel really bad now. You're a terrible person. <laughs> I, I was goggles. like, I, I had oh, no idea what, what really made good. me think of that. And yeah, that's right. for that's for you. Me, Spiro. Yeah, you'll wear that. <laughs> I you actually be able to need still, on it. I still no, I don't still wear those. Yeah, I could actually need on those too, <laughs> but I'm not going to. He can wear goggles. <laughs> well, it's funny because Zook always wears goggles. <laughs> Partly because of the eye leakage problem that he has. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's actually what happens. <laughs> Losing an eye is not a fucking cool thing. Like, I had a friend who actually put a carpet, uh, carpenter's nail uh, through his eye. Oh! Yeah, it bounced off oh, of... He hit the same... Careful with that. I don't like he, Igor. That's the one thing I can't He did the same one twice, and then he ripped it out afterwards. Oh, stop it! <laughs> yeah, I'm done, but that, that's... That's yeah. gross! Ugh. But, <laughs> yeah, so... He's permanently wiping his eyes. He's also uh, on pill medications now, like... Yeah, probably he, he's, he's, he's a completely pill... He, he's a complete pill head now. Be <laughs> and, and, like, it's because of, you know, a legitimate issue, but... Now, because of it, he's an addict. It sucks. Oof. But that's what the fucking system does. That's why I don't like taking medications. Hey, level up! Yeah, I noticed so that Igor tends to really bother people. Yeah, that's like. That's Wait, like, that's a big... I thought I was level 20. One. You are. Oh, we down. We're safe. Yeah, we're okay. safe. I got really worried for a second. <laughs> no, if you over level, if you out level the dungeon while you're in it, it sinks you down. Zook, if you really want to play tank. Sure. <laughs> hey, usually I pull yeah, all three groups. Mike's gonna get it. Treasure chest? Treasure chest. Oh, it's a potion. I got a potion, guys. Yeah, you're gonna need it. <laughs> what? Since you want to take so bad. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, are you telling me I'm not getting heals? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want to take so bad. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, remember, I'm a healer main. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You have the cynical attitude about people Absolutely. not doing. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Now uh, I get to die. And I will sit here and wait. Da, 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 da. Why are you sitting over there? Because this because is where the uh, there's literally nothing for us to do as DPS. Not yet. Um. All we pretty much just have to make sure that the. Uh, uh, the spriggins that the appear. Spriggin, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, the spriggins. Careful with standing high. in that. <laughs> oh, look, a powder truck. Uh, a, a powder truck. Oh, shit! I'm gonna go get that. <laughs> My fucking character! Oh my god, that was so funny. So, <laughs> I played dead. So I played dead, and then I interacted with the 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 pedestal, 
and my character jumped up real quick, laid back down, fi finished the animation of the of Puller using the thing, and then it just fell right back to the ground. <laughs> Get ready your AO ready your AOEs. The next oh. hit will be. Oh, I didn't do it again. That was sad. Come on, spawn you little shit. Okay. My character can right, get ready. Go, go, go. Hey, go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any aim yet. Oh, that's right. You don't get that till later. Nope. <sighs> um, that's for me. Yeah. <sighs> ah! Kaboom! Okay. Pull everything again. Pull everything. Uh, Just do not it. Not at the same time. No. Yes. No. Fuck you. <laughs> Healer said, "Pull everything. Pulling everything." That's not what I meant. What? You go pull shit. I'm not healing you. What? Duke, I'm not doing it. Not doing what? But you said to pull everything! That's not what I meant! What what do you mean by pull everything then? Well we're I mean we're gonna kill everything. We're doing the full clear. <sighs> <laughs> you knew what we meant to do. No, I literally did not. <laughs> I don't believe. I thought you meant at least a couple groups. No. I I, I still have tank anxiety, okay? Anxiety. Anxiety. Cannot help me. Anxiety. It's a real fucking condition. No, I know. I know it is. But you're among friends. <sighs> right. Which is why I agreed to play tank. Okay. <laughs> well, you're still gonna have to do trials. It's fine. I'll be healing you. Just say that you want to be off tank if if you're not comfortable with main tanking. Of course, off tanks usually more uh, stressful. Well, you have to take later on. Tank. Yeah. Depends on the thing. Yeah. Twenty-one. Oh, twenty-two. Okay, we're almost done this uh, dungeon because I know that you're. You said seven o'clock. Yeah. Six for her. Yeah. Oh look, tank gear. I still think it's not as good as what she has on. Yeah, I, probably not. It, it's actually better than what I have at the Is moment. Is it? No, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's because it's the head. Right, you don't get a headpiece from doing the smith stuff. Right. I wish they had a thing similar to Guild Wars 2, when, like, if you got gear in a dungeon, you could break it down for crafting components. Well, you can. Well, you can. It's, uh, de desynthesizing. Oh, okay. yeah. So, when, once it's 100% spirit bound to you, um, oh, you shit. can desynthesize it and make guys. it into, like, uh, demi materia and shit. But, like, it, you really don't use that stuff anymore. Though later on with old, like, newer gear, uh, higher level gear, it turns into actual usable materia. Okay, because, so, in, um, Guild Wars 2, when you, like, uncrafted an item, it gave you that tier of crafting material, like, leather, cloth. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can, right. um, so, so, you so can do that I... with... There's two things you can do with gear. You can turn it into materia, or you can desynthesize it. There are two different things. Desynthesizing oh. breaks down into actual items. Like some of the, the... I'm trying to think what the better way to make money off of dungeon gear would be. Uh, so what I do is I turn it in for seals at my grand company and I use that the fun ventures and my retainers go and get me shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as reliable because 
completely random as to whether or not I something heard, something worth selling. I heard currently chicken eggs are going for a lot. Uh, I have no idea. I was reading, like, I think of, like, how people are making deals in that, uh, really fast, and chicken eggs. It could also be very outdated because there's a lot of forums that you see that are from oh, years ago. Like five yeah. years ago. Oh no, this was a YouTube video posted like last week. Oh really? Huh. Yes. I'll check that out. Alright, so, so... we can just burn him, yeah. Probably, yeah. Um, in fact, if you want to limit now, we can probably... Yeah. Or oh, I gotta catch him. Yeah. He stops right here. By the way, this is like the first time I've ever lived with Great. Well, get used to it because you're melee DPS. Yep. Why do, um, do, uh. Oh, so, melee DPS. Okay. I was like, like, why, like, why does it. Um, uh, melee DPS do more damage on single targets, um, range DPS and magical DPS. Magical DPS does it in an area, uh, whereas range DPS does it in a straight line. So, melee does more damage, then range does uh, a, a little bit less, and then uh, magical uh, DPS does a I little thought... bit less, but it's a bigger radius. I thought caster did more damage. Uh, than... no, I'm pretty sure ranged, ranged. physical does, a, uh, does more, but it's a straighter line, so you have to really line it up. Uh, but the advantage to magical DPS is that it's such a big radius. Um, and then tanks have the protection buffs and healers are pretty much heals and uh, a free res for everybody at level 3 Christ <laughs> so generally speaking I'm probably never going to limit unless I get angsty and just want to do it <laughs> well I mean and there, are, especially like later on um, there are some larger pools that you can AoE limit break to mm -hmm. make things go faster. Yeah. Or you can do it on like Ugh. certain like trials where they have like the ads. I'll pass on the it should it's the faux striker and the um acolyte gear is literally the same thing as the uh brand new set. Yep. They just give it to but... you. Yeah, that's just the the brand new set I don't think used to exist when these dungeons existed. <sighs> I'm okay. pretty well. These first three dungeons are actually uh, 1.0 dungeons. Okay, so did we want to just teleport to Ulda and take a break so Spirit can go get food and. Yeah. Go walk the puppy. That sounds good. <laughs>